Hi, I'm Jessica from Abe Books, and today I'd like to tell you about The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway. I'm a longtime fan of Hemingway's fellow expatriate writers who made up the group in the 1920s that Gertrude Stein dubbed the Lost Generation, uh, a term inspired by the way they aimlessly led their lives post-World War I. Uh, the Sun Also Rises was published in 1926, and even though it was Hemingway's first novel, it established him a place among great American writers like F. Scott Fitzgerald, T.S. Eliot, and Ezra Pound. Uh, Jake Barnes is our protagonist. He's an American writer uh, living in Europe post-World War I, and uh, he's broken and aimless and very much a representation of Hemingway's own lost generation. Um, he takes us out on the town in Paris in the 1920s, and we get to experience the roaring nightlife, um, and travels all the way to Spain for violent uh, uh, bullfighting. And along the way, we're accompanied by a group of disillusioned uh, American men and the beautiful, flamboyant, and heartbreaker Lady Brett. Uh, it's through this kind of motley crew of uh, lost, carefree souls that uh, we experience the haplessness of the lost generation. Um, there's dancing and drinking and love affairs that keep the pages turning, but it's really Hemingway's simplistic writing style that I found most impressive. He doesn't hide behind any flashy technique um, or piles of metaphors. He's telling a story as if to an old friend um, and almost as if you're sitting down with him in one of his favorite Paris cafes. Uh, immediately upon finishing The Sun Also Rises, I picked up his posthumously published memoir, A Movable Feast. It's a colloquial telling of his earliest years in Paris um, as he was struggling as a young writer and married to his first wife and great love, Hadley Richardson. I'd recommend The Sun Also Rises and any Hemingway writing to anyone who loves letting just good, solid writing take you away, take you to another life and another time.